Hello and welcome. Today we're looking at quite a tricky topic. This is the topic of inheritance. The inheritance of characteristics by individuals. And by inheritance we mean character characteristics from parents. So to help us understand, here we've got a cell. And in the middle of the cell is the nucleus. And all I've done there, the arrow shows that I've magnified the nucleus there. So that's the same nucleus being shown, just magnified in the second diagram. And inside the nucleus, you can see two chromosomes. Two chromosomes. There are usually more in cells, but I've just drawn two to make it a little bit less confusing than drawing lots of them. So there are two chromosomes. Now, if we were to magnify one of those chromosomes, it looks a little bit like this, or we could use a diagram like this to help explain it. So this is a chromosome, and the chromosome, very important key term there, a chromosome is made of tightly coiled DNA, tightly coiled DNA. This is what we mean by the term chromosome. It's important to remember that these chromosomes are not only found in animal cells, as shown in the diagram above, but also in plant cells. In fact, every type of living cell contains DNA. It's an important, uh, important to make a note of that. All living things, all living cells contain DNA. Very, very important point to make a note of. So let's have a slightly closer look at our chromosome and see how that works. So we've got our nucleus up there on the left hand side. There's our nucleus with the chromosomes inside. There's just two in that one. But actually in the cells of humans, in the cells of humans, there are 46 of them. 46 in humans. Actually 23 pairs, which makes a total of 46. So here's our chromosome. We can see that it's made of DNA. So there's a strand of DNA coming off the chromosome. And what I've done in that second part of the diagram there is to magnify the DNA many, many, many times to make it look a lot bigger. And you'll actually see that the DNA is actually made of two strands, two strands that are twisted around each other. Two strands that are twisted around each other and we give that structure a name. This is called the double helix. DNA is described as having a double helix structure. However, we're not focusing too much on that for today. What we want to look at is the idea that we've got our DNA and along the DNA, we have small sections that I've just highlighted in blue there. And these are genes. So I've shown three genes there along the, our DNA. And very important that we understand what we mean by genes. So genes, these are short sections, short sections of DNA. That's the first part. And the second part is that they determine, they determine inherited characteristics. So characteristics that are inherited from parents. And again, a very important term, so we should highlight that just to make sure we know it's a key term. So all those genes are all along the chromosome here. Um, perhaps I should have chosen a better color than blue, but the genes are found in the chromosomes on the DNA. So definitely worth pausing here and just making sure you, making sure you understand the different aspects of this diagram because it's quite important. We're going to finally look at how um, inheritance works with new individuals. So here we've got the idea of a male and female. The male will produce sperm cells. Females will produce egg cells. And if a sperm cell joins with an egg cell, so here's the nucleus of each of those cells with the chromosomes. If a sperm cell joins with an egg cell, the 23 chromosomes that we have in the sperm cell, and this is for humans we're looking at, will combine with the 23 chromosomes found in the egg cell. So here we've got the egg 
and sperm joining together. The egg and sperm join. And this process is called fertilization. Fertilization. The joining of the egg and the sperm. So once they've joined together, the two nuclei join together and we end up having a fertilized egg. You may remember this from a previous video. Here's a fertilized egg inside the oviduct of the female reproductive system. That fertilized egg will go on to become not one cell, but two cells, then four cells, then a little ball of cells. Important to remember that all of these cells will have 46 chromosomes. All of them will have 46 chromosomes. This will then go on to develop into all the specialized cells needed to make a fetus. So here's our fetus, our developing baby. And all the cells in the fetus will have 46 chromosomes as well. And this will then go on to develop into a baby that can be born. And this baby is a person with unique DNA. The only single version, the only single person with that DNA on the planet, unless they are an identical twin. So everybody has unique DNA unless they are identical twins. So a lot we've gone through in this video today, and again, it might be worth just going over it one more time. If you haven't downloaded the work along sheet, you might want to do that just to make some notes on it so you can refer back to that later if you need to. But other than that, that's us done for the video today. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.